Fame has indeed come quickly for Michael Jordan, and not without good reason. As a 19-year-old freshman, he buried this game-winning jumper that gave North Carolina the NCAA championship over Georgetown. Michael Jordan! He strutted his stuff for the entire world, leading the 1984 U.S. Olympic team to gold. And now Chicago is hoping he'll bring his Midas touch to the Bulls. I came into the league with a lot of publicity, but you know, I have to make a name for myself and go out and play hard each time and, and work my way up. I can't go out and try to live up to crowd expectations. Well, I'm just going to mess up my whole total game. So I have to go out and play my natural game. And if we win, I'm happy. If it pleases the crowd, then, you know, I'm happy also. His first regular season visit to the Big Apple had the New York fans and media buzzing with excitement. As everyone knew, Mr. Jordan had arrived. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Thanks. Have a good year. Thank you very much. Inside the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden, eager fans arrive early to get the best vantage point of Jordan's spectacular pregame warm-ups. He plays the game with charisma. When he gets his hands on the ball, the fans react, but not too many players in our league that can you say that about. He's going to be the type player like the Ernie Banks or Walter Payton that's going to be here for years, and people are going to say, hey, we have a true superstar. Back in Chicago, Michael Jordan has already pumped new life into the previously troubled Bull franchise. Attendance is up dramatically, not only in Chicago, but wherever the Bulls' traveling roadshow happens to land. Every place he goes, there's a full house. And we only have two players that come to my mind that pack the houses. Julius Irving in Philadelphia, Larry Bird in Boston. Now we have three. Well, I think he's probably the uh, most exciting player that's coming to this league uh, mm -hmm. since, since probably Dr. J. And of course, the inevitable comparisons have already begun. When I first came into professional basketball, I came into the ABA and uh, there was talk about uh, me being compared to different players at different times and this is what will happen to michael as time goes on but you have to use the existing players and the past players as a standard of measure and and if you're going to talk about somebody if, if you're talking if you're comparing them with good players or, or players who have done real good things then it's a compliment to both of them well it's always a big uh, compliment just to be compared to great players like dr j and I love to uh, have the career that he had, and and hopefully I can make a name for myself and not try to live off his name. Uh, I think Michael Jordan sounds pretty good to me. 